Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel for this weekend's vlog. I am for sure gonna make this a Friday and Sunday vlog, maybe a little bit of Saturday too, because Sunday is the day that we've set aside to do some house projects. We want to go to Home Depot and try to get stuff to make like concrete planters with, that's what I'm looking for, <laughs> like planks of wood, like four by fours, is that what they are? And string lights and do like market lights. We don't know if it's gonna be a field experiment, but we're gonna do it together. And I'm looking so forward to it. I'm just now noticing how long my hair has gotten. And I'm going to be getting my hair cut next time I'm in Texas, but that's not until June. <laughs> So I'm like, how long is my hair gonna be by the time I'm finally home? I don't know. Quick little outfit of the day. I've turned my mic towards me for the first time on this camera. So I'm like, I don't know what this audio is gonna be like. It has been so cold in LA, so cold. And I packed away all my winter clothes. It's not that hard to get to them. They're just in the garage in like a airtight plastic container, but I have one jacket. So I'm wearing the jacket that we got on my birthday on clearance at Madewell. And then I got some tank tops from uh, Abercrombie and I I actually really like them. They're a perfect length, wear neck. You can wear a bra underneath it because it covers the bra straps. So I'm wearing that and then Lulu leggings and my super dry sneakers. So that's, that's the look we're going for today. Very, very cozy, very chill. I'm cold all the time. Okay, I want to tell y'all something, but I know my mom's watching right now. When is this coming out? This, coming, this is coming out before Mother's Day, yes. So mom, <laughs> skip forward a couple minutes just to be safe. It won't be that long, but skip forward like three minutes just to, just to really be safe because I don't want you to find this out. But I wanna tell y'all about the sponsor of this video really quick. Look at this gorgeous bouquet that I got. This is from Bloomsy Box. It actually arrived a few days ago in the mail. So I have footage of me like opening it and unboxing it because I wanted to obviously open it as soon as I got here since they're live flowers. But they are the most gorgeous bouquet of flowers. So they did send me this one so that I could show you guys in real life. They deliver them to your doorstep. They even have a subscription, which is awesome. If you are the type of person that loves fresh flowers in your house like me and just wants to get them often, but they have a Mother's Day sale going on. And this is, so I got my mom two things for Mother's Day. I sent her pajamas. I sent her cozy earth pajamas, which have already arrived, but she hasn't opened them yet. And then I sent her these flowers to be delivered, I think two days before Mother's Day. Make sure she gets them in time for Mother's Day. And I do have a discount code, which is awesome. So it's Mikkel12 for 12% 12 off. I bought her these bouquets with my own money and I did use my own discount code. So that's what I got my mom for Mother's Day, along with the pajamas but I feel like flowers are so great. So thank you to Bloomsy Box for sponsoring this video. Perfect timing in case you're looking for a Mother's Day present. I think it's just a great, a great, great, great thing. So I'm excited about it. So, okay, mom, you can start watching again. Don't go back and look at that. Oh, I'm stressed she's gonna see it and the surprise is ruined. It's so hard sharing all my life online. <laughs> um, I did get something in the mail. Do you wanna do a little bit of a mail time before we continue on with our day? How does that sound? Let's do it. Okay, so I actually, I put you on a chair and I feel like it's a weird angle. I actually got this in the mail a few days ago and I was like, uh-uh, I have to wait until the vlog to open this. I am so excited. So there's a new website that I had honestly never heard of called Skin Store. They reached out to me. They're like, you wanna pick out a few things? And I was like, sure. And they have like all of my favorite brands. I got a box in the mail. I haven't gone through any of these products yet and it's been so hard. So figured I'd do a little haul. I can link all these things down below. Some of these things are things that I love and have had for a long time. And some of these things are just things I've heard a lot about and wanted to try. I'm still kind of learning this camera and I just found a different setting that makes it less like blown out white. And it's kind of like a cozy color. Do we like this? I might try shooting a few things on this. I'm like waiting for your feedback because the last vlog hasn't come out yet. And I hope people like this new camera, but okay. Sorry, I got so distracted. Let me get into the haul. First thing, I don't know about this coloring guys. I don't know. Okay, first thing is I got some Aesop soap. I'm so excited. I have a confession to make. So I love Aesop soap. It's like the definition of luxury. It's kind of a splurge. And I registered for some when we got married. So I have had bottles of Aesop soap for almost three years now. And the bottles are just so pretty to me that I've been refilling it with like cheap soap. <laughs> and now I have real Aesop soap again, like a true adult. I've literally been doing that forever. 
smells so good and this one has finely milled pumice in it so it helps to exfoliate your hands oh it's so good it's the best and then got a couple of things from elta md i have been on the hunt for good sunscreen i just ran out of my drunk elephant sunscreen and i kind of just want to like play around with a few more see what's my favorite i want to try super goop too i used to get this from my dermatologist when i went to like a real dermatologist this is the elta md sunscreen broad spectrum spf 46 i loved it when i used to use it and i don't remember why i stopped using it it is a little bit pricier i think i switched to like drugstore so i'm excited to try this again you guys know i've been on the hunt for a good toner i bought that one from sephora like just the Sephora brand and it was not good. It was so fragrance and I have become increasingly sensitive to fragranced skincare. I'm okay with body care, but not skincare. So I got the Elta MD Skin Recovery Toner as one toner to try out, see if I like it. It's apparently gentle, which is what I'm looking for. A, a like mineral, dye-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free. But I got a second one to try too. So I will keep you updated as to which one I like better. This is PCA skin. Just confirming. Okay, good. I was like, I did get, here we go. Yes, no synthetic dyes, synthetic fragrances, paraben, no animal testing, all that kind of good stuff. So this is the PCA skin hydrating toner. So these are the two that I will be testing out next to see on my hunt for the perfect gentle toner. Because ever since I got that facial, the lady was like, you need to be using a toner. I was like, let me try to find one that you're not selling because the ones you're selling are like $200. <laughs> I've seen this everywhere. I follow Danny Austin on Instagram and she was talking about this and so I really wanted to try it. It's the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. And apparently first she was disappointed because she was like, this is so small. But then she was like, everyone in my comments is saying that this lasts you forever and it smells so good. Let's see if it actually smells good. I actually, is it open? It's gonna say I actually don't smell anything. Ooh, no, it is very like lightly sweet. Ooh, it kind of smells like cotton candy. Let's try it. This is like day four hair. Oh, wow, wait. That kind of did add some bounce and shine to my hair. And it made it smell kind of fresh. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. And two things left. I started using Grande Lash again. Y'all know I got it during the Sephora sale. I said, I think I wanna like try putting this on my eyebrows. Then I found they make a Grande brow for your eyebrows. My eyebrows are, they're okay. They're not great. I'd give them a six out of 10. I would love to fill them in a little more in the front. So I'm really, really excited to try this because Grande Lash is like magic. <laughs> And I'm, I trust them now. If it works on my lashes, I'm hoping it can work on my brows as well. And then final thing is this glow mist. I've noticed that throughout the day, my makeup just kind of needs like a little refresher. Sometimes it looks a little bit cakey and I'm like, dang, I wish I could just hydrate this a little bit. And I don't own a single face mist. So I sorted on skin store by most popular. And this one was most popular, I think probably because it was the most affordable or one of the most affordable. Pixie Glow Mist. Let's try it right here, right now. I always like to like spray it on my hand first to know what to expect. Oh, it is super misty, okay. Oh, that just feels really nice. Definitely like gave my skin a little bit of pick me up. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I like this. I'm very pleased with my haul. The things that are TBD I need to keep you updated on are both the toners. And then I feel like everything else I've either tried or got to try on camera. I'm gonna go replace my soap. So let's go do that. Oh, hello. Oh, you wait, you need a new soap in there. Um, do you know that I got that that bottle of soap in our bathroom before we were married and I just keep refilling it with cheap soap? Yes. Oh, you do know that? I thought I bamboozled you. <laughs> <laughs> this one's fancy. Do you like it? Sure. Okay. I got one for the kitchen too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For adult. My adult soap. No more faking it till I make it, guy. So by the time this vlog comes out, summer mornings will have already launched, which is my new brand if you missed it. I'm hoping it's sold out by the time this vlog launches, but I also don't know what to expect at all because I didn't get to talk about it for very soon before we launched it. But the stickers I designed, are on the box and I just got it dropped off like an hour ago and get to see it in real life for the first time. And like, I'm so excited. Y'all know I like packaging a lot. Obviously packaging is very expensive. So I'm glad I got to do something that feels like me without spending like $10 a box. <laughs> Happy medium. So tonight I am actually going to go I guess babysit in a way for a friend just as a favor, um, not as a job, but they are both pastors, the husband and wife, they're both pastors at my church and they have some sort of like last minute training tonight. So she texted me and was like, hey, you wanna hang out in my apartment with a sleeping baby? <laughs> 
It's like, sure. So I'll probably just take my computer over there and work tonight. Love to watch the game. Don't think there's any way to watch it outside of home because they make it really hard to watch Dodger games when you don't have Spectrum, Sportsnet LA, cable, which is why we pay for cable. The only reason we pay for cable in this household. A little more work to do before I leave. Gonna just get a little bit of work done, but initially, Brooke and I were gonna try to do something for dinner tonight because it's Friday. Um, but now since I will be at someone else's apartment during dinner time, I was like, hey, can I postmate something right now? It's only four o'clock, meaning I would get here at five, but I am very hungry. So postmating some sweet green. Gonna write a couple podcasts. And then um, I recently discovered Gretchen Gertry. Gertry's vlogs and I really like watching them. I like her life. It's just very calming. So I might watch one of those as a little Friday treat. I've done so much today. Look, look at my to-do list. Look how much I got done. The only thing left is write podcast episodes. Mm -hmm. Dinner is here. Thanks for ordering this for me. I'm gonna hang out before I have sleep. Do you have more work? Can I sit here and watch you eat? <laughs> no, we can maybe watch something. I'm gonna just show the vlog what I got. I got, this is new. It does not look as good as the picture on the website. They showed like big roasted sweet potato with like this uh, cashew pesto dipping sauce. It's healthy. I need to triple check that's gluten free. I'm sure it is. And then the best ever, ever, ever. If you have a sweet green near you, the shroomami is so good. If you go in store, definitely recommend extra mushroom, but they don't let you customize things over Postmates. Mmm, these mushrooms are so good. The basil, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I realized I have not had many naturally green things this week, not many veggies. We had enchiladas for a few days this week that I made, and then I made us white chili. So, so I need some veggies in my life. Uh, oh, hello, Max. Uh, you're exposing yourself, Max. Max is wearing a little bit of a cone. I want to show you because he's embarrassed. To take his blood pressure at the vet, they like shaved down part of his paw and it's killing him and he won't stop chewing at it. So it started to get irritated. So he's wearing a cone for, yeah, irritated. Wearing a cone for a little bit. I'm gonna eat dinner, gonna hang with Brooke and maybe I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. We're gonna see Jeremy and Kaylee. The boys are gonna golf. They're really looking forward to it. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. This every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as two. Sunday here with a cute husband uh, so the plan is we have basically devoted this morning to doing some sort of yard project plan a is making market lights which I think I mentioned where you like put concrete into planters and put poles in them and string lights but we would need like eight foot poles and we don't know if they're gonna fit into our car we are in the market for a larger car here pretty soon so we might have to save that project for when we have a big car <laughs> plan B is what's plan B Maybe get some rose bushes. Maybe just kind of plant a few new things around our our yard. We're gonna we're gonna play it by ear, but we're gonna do something. It's gonna be exciting, and I'm looking like a whole snack this morning. <laughs> so we're looking in the lumber section. We didn't even measure my car, so we don't actually know. I know from my trunk to the back seat, I have 73 inches when I lay down the seats. So I guess we have another two feet if we go into the front seat a little bit, meaning we could maybe fit eight feet, but it's kind of hard to know. But these are pretty, I like these. And then the lights are on sale right now. They're normally 70 something, but they're 49. We, it's hard to know if that's gonna fit, <laughs> but these look really, really nice. I'm really excited to have found, we just stumbled upon these lights, which are the exact same canned lights in our house. I just don't know what size our can lights are, so I'm gonna have to measure them and come back, but they are like 12 to $15 a piece, and ours are like the super duper cool white, which at nighttime feels like you're in a doctor's office, and they have like soft white and like warmer colors. So we're thinking at least like our den and our bedroom lights, replacing them with something warmer. It's good to know it's possible. So we've decided we're gonna get the lumber delivered, meaning that's gonna be a future project, but today we're gonna go plant. We have some 
like, what are they called? Flower beds in the front that only have two rose bushes and they look kind of barren. We're gonna vlog in the front of our house. We've never done that before. And we're looking to see what we wanna get. We might just get more roses and keep that as like the theme. The roses here are really, really pretty. So we have a red rose bush and a white one. They're both suffering a little bit, but I think that the white looks really good against our yellow house. So um, they have little ones that are just 10 bucks a piece. We might do that. Do you wanna say that? Yeah. 11 a.m. We're crazy. Oh, hello, Mix! I was just about to start a video of trying to place the, the roses. Like, two to kind of, maybe three to fill in this area. What do you think? Max is sniffing my camera. And then, like, just one right here. Because it's so small. A little something, something. Bre breaking ground, which looks to be a lot more dense than I thought it would be. It's like a lot of tough work. I got us his and hers gardening gloves, which I think is adorable. So I'm gonna go be the one that plants these guys in the ground. With my cute gardening gloves. And so cute, a montage <laughs> of me not knowing really what I'm doing, but trying my best. Here we go. It's actually stapled. So cute. <laughs> I am pooped. We only did, the roses were not very hard at all, but then we decided to weed the backyard. I didn't get any of that on camera and we basically filled up a whole trash can with weeds. I'm hot. <laughs> I wanted to give you a quick update. Let's go in the bathroom real quick. Okay, so I did the last two nights use this and this. I used this Friday night, this Saturday night. I think I like the Elta MD one a little bit more. I'm gonna sneeze. Max is looking at me like I'm crazy. This one is nice. It is a little bit like tingly. I don't know if there is the ingredients right on this. There's like a little bit of like eucalyptus or something minty in it. So it has that kind of like men menthol kind of feel to it. Whereas this one's just super gentle, which is totally what I was looking for. Skin recovery toner helps repair damaged skin barrier. So this is gonna be my recommendation. Obviously I should use them longer, see if I see any like long-term effects of them. But first impression, I like this one. Can't tell though if the bottle's blue or if the actual formula's blue. And I don't know what makes it blue. There's no sort of color like dye or anything on, oh yeah, dye free. So I don't know why it's blue, honestly. And then another update I wanted to show you is I've officially had the flowers in my office for, has it been six days? And they are looking beautiful. And actually the lilies have started to open. Frick's looking at me outside. <laughs> He's still eating right there. He's so cute. The lilies have officially started to open. So the bouquet, I love this. I don't know what this is called, but I love those types of flowers. So they're, it's looking better and better as each day goes by, which is like the opposite of most bouquets. So I'm really excited about it. So my plans for today are the Dodger games on at four. I threw in a little laundry. I have at least three loads of laundry, maybe more. So I'm gonna do laundry, gonna edit this vlog, going to figure out groceries for the week, order groceries, shower, self tan, because tomorrow, Monday, I'm filming three videos, probably. For sure two, maybe three, because I have my second Moderna vaccine on Tuesday, which is so inconvenient, the fact that it's like the middle of the week, because I'm gonna give myself at least two days of recovery, just based off all of my friends' experiences. I wish I got it on like a Friday or something, but I didn't have a choice. <laughs> so I'm trying to batch film Monday so that I can just edit in bed for the rest of the week. We have a dog next door named Bobo who is so loud. Bobo alone might make me not want to buy this house eventually. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thank you again to Bloomsy Box for sponsoring this vlog. Don't forget, I will have that discount code down below. I love vlogs. I love hanging out with you guys. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Max says, bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh.